Good day, beautiful people. This is your host, Jaquel of Back to the Basics of Health and Wellness Podcast. On today's podcast, we are going to talk about the coronavirus. I'm going to give you the top, I guess, ways and beneficial supplements to take to avoid getting the coronavirus and keeping your immune system up at the same time. Let's get into it. Your life only gets better when you do. Work on yourself and the rest will follow. Danny, it's time to start your podcast. So we've been hearing a lot about coronavirus the last couple of weeks. And at the end of the day, guys, wash your hands is the best defense. Washing your hands will help you get over the coronavirus or any other virus like the flu. You know, we're talking about a lot of, you know, well, we got to do this for the corona. We got to do that for the coronavirus. What about the flu? You know, people, more people die from the flu than they're dying from the coronavirus at this point, guys. Come on. Come on. We got we got we got to really look into this, you know, but they're making the coronavirus seem like it's the unstoppable virus that we have on planet Earth right now. But only you can protect yourself. You can protect yourself by boosting your immune system. You can uh, help yourself by keeping yourself clean. Keeping yourself protected at all times is like boxing. Protect yourself at all times. You know, now it's the big thing. Wash your hands. Wash it. You should have been washing your hands. You should have been going to the bathroom and then washing your hands. You should have been washing your hands after you touch different surfaces. You're supposed to do that. That's what you was taught in kindergarten. Come on, guys. Let's get it to it. <laughs> so we're going to talk about, you know, um, today's episode is going to be about the integrative approach um, that you could take to helping yourself and your family members. So the first thing I want to talk about is zinc lozenges, like uh, zinc cough lozenges, or you can do uh, zinc tablets. Um, And of course, you can buy all of this stuff at Green Acres Health Food Store in Piscataway, New Jersey, guys, go on over there. Or if you in the Essex County area in New Jersey, you can go over to Olive May. Or if you're not in those areas at all, I would suggest you go over to the vitamin shop. And if you can't find it, any of those places, which I know you will go to Amazon. Shh. Amazon. <laughs> um, so yeah, zinc lozenge. Um, so Number one, it's going to completely dissolve in the mouth. Um, You can just take one lozenge and that takes uh, contains about 18.75 milligrams of zinc. um, And you could take that every two waking hours. Uh, The next thing I will look into is vitamin D. I know we talked about vitamin D on the show before. If you if you missed that, uh, go back and check out the vitamin D episode. Um, If you. Do not already maintain a blood level of 25 uh, hydroxy vitamin D over um, 50 milliliters, then uh, take, you know, 50,000. I would say take between five to 50,000 IU. If you're sick, you want to boost up your vitamin D3. Um, if you take, if you're doing 5,000 IU, I would take, uh, you know, up to two, but you can always boost it. But, you know, with all this information, talk to your doctor first. Talk to your physician first and let them know what you're doing uh, before you start taking these supplements and make sure your body can actually um, take these supplements on a daily basis. And if you already take around 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 uh, every day, then you uh, probably do not need to increase your intake if you're taking it every day. If you're not taking it every day, you might want to boost it up and then start uh, to gradually come off of the vitamin D. Um, The other thing is selenium. Uh, It has important antioxidants. So at this time, you want to build up the antioxidants in your body uh, to 
you know, uh, decreased um, those free radicals that's all in the air, the pollutants and things like that. You should be doing these things on a regular basis anyway uh, to protect yourself and protect your family uh, from the environment's polluting uh, pollutions that are out there. Uh, you should also look into uh, take a probiotic. Um, a growing body of evidence shows that probiotic supplements uh, with uh, uh, lactobacillus, uh, species can, you know, enhance antiviral immune activities uh, in the body. You should also look at taking uh, a vitamin C supplement. And, you know, like I said, if when you go to, I say this all the time on the podcast, especially when I'm talking about supplements, when you go to your independent health food store, these people can help you. They are trained to assist you. They are trained to help you get better. So go check those people out because when you buy things online, guess what? Customer service don't know. They can't help you. They can't tell you what's the dosage recommend uh, recommendation. They can't tell you, uh, you know, if you're taking uh, other medications, when to take that supplement, or if you should take it with food or without without food. They don't know. So at the end of the day, guys, protect yourself. You know, this 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 too shall pass. Just like SARS, just like uh, mad cow disease, just like uh, swine flu, just like all of those diseases that came out uh, before or viruses that came out before this shoot, this too shall pass. So, you know, don't, um, you know, keep yourself in the bubble, uh, you know, go out there and have fun. Don't don't don't, you know, go out there and start buying all of this uh, stuff like toilet tissue. I go, I go into the grocery stores now. Now you can't even find toilet tissue. You can't find uh, hand sanitizer, which you don't need hand sanitizer because if you wash your hands, you don't need hand sanitizer. And all hand sanitizer is going to do is dry your hands out from all the alcohol that's in it at the end of the day. So do you want dry hands? No. Do you want your hands to be cracking? No. So just wash your hands with some nice soap and water and clean the clean clean the surfaces in your home. You know, uh, I, I wouldn't even say spray Lysol. I would say go to a healthy grocery store and get some of their um, uh, disinfectant sprays and surface cleaners. That is not going to be harmful to your health and not harmful to our community. And just, you know, look at those type of things right there. So that's all, folks. Um, I want to give you guys just a, a couple of things um, on an integrative approach that help you guys out. And that was zinc lozenge or tablets. That was vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, probiotic. And those things right there should help you beat the coronavirus. <laughs> and also, again, washing your hands. So again, guys, I would like to thank you all for listening in and tuning in to uh, this very special podcast that helps you on your daily life when it comes to uh, helping you get back to a healthy you, uh, mind, body, and spirit. So if you have any questions, go on over to my website, www.ladybugnaturalsolutions.com, and you can chat with me over there, or you can go on to my social media, which is Twitter, Instagram or Facebook and you can chat with me over there as well. Just, uh, you know, ask me the questions and I will answer them. And don't forget, guys, I am a consultant. So you can also do a free consultation with me at any time. You can give me a call at 201-888-4706 or you can text me and say, hey, Jaquel, I want a free consultation and let's get into it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one, everyone.